Hello everyone, my name is Jaden from the YouTube channel JVision, and you're listening to The Low Price Experience. And I bet you're probably wondering, what's the price of listening to this podcast? Why nothing, of course, because it's of the low price of completely free. Thanks so much, and enjoy. Hello, boys. I bet you're all thinking, Jaden, why are you, why are you doing this as, I'm just gonna put the desktop audio down a little bit, put the music down just a, just a tad bit, so, um, I'm just, re- oh, <laughs> okay, uh, I'm just recording this, uh, you know, this is the first episode of my personal podcast that I'm doing, uh, on my own, so this is basically just to see me talking and, uh, just being casual and everything like that. As you may see, I switched the room around a little bit. Um, it looks a little different. Hopefully it looks good. Uh, hopefully it looks fine. Uh, I'm just trying to stay um, <laughs> in range so my microphone still sounds good, which I think it sounds fine. Um, so, so some of the things that I'd like to talk about today. Um, you know what? I talk about my life quite a lot, so let's talk about my life some more. Um, so, let's go over ever. Let's go over everything, just every single thing about my life, right? So, basically, here's where it started. Uh, so it started on the. F- oh shit! Uh, it started on. No, shit! <laughs> this is my. So, basically, uh, it started on the 5th of May, 2006, um, in a wonderful little place called Brighton in England. No, <laughs> what? No, 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 sorry, I've just been watching a lot of, a lot of, a lot of different streamers, and they've been talking about Brighton. My life started in a wonderful place called Wimbledon, England, okay? You know that place with all the tennis and everything like that? Yeah, that's basically where I was born. Um, and we lived there for a few years, like, to be specific, two years. Um, and then something happened, something tragic, something absolutely horrible. My mother decided that she wanted another child, and that's how my sister was born. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, I mean, that happened, (laughs) my sister was born. But it wasn't tr- as tragic as I describe it, I suppose. Um, should I be sitting in, like, the middle of the frame? I feel like I should be. And just talking directly into the camera. I don't know if that makes you feel uncomfortable or anything like that. Hopefully it doesn't. Uh, but if it does, I apologize. Um, I'm just looking at my... Is it... Yeah. So right here I just have my, my OBS in front of me, which is what I'm recording this on, um, you know, I just decided that I, you know, I, I was just gonna open up OBS and, like, yeah, use my webcam with my microphone, and I figured, hey, whatever, it'll, it should be fine, whatever, um, but yeah, basically, my sister was born, uh, and then we moved to this other place, um, which I don't exactly want to name, because, I know people who still live in that neighborhood, and I don't kind of—I kind of don't want people to just like know where my childhood neighborhood was. So, yeah. Um, but basically, um, when I was about seven, uh, my mom decided that, like, you know, it was time to take me um, to the land of the free, to the land of the taxis, to the land of every crime ever committed, which is basically South Africa, uh, <laughs> which if you didn't know is where I live, um, but, um, my mom decided that it was time to take me here, um, for my aunt's wedding, uh, specifically this is my aunt on my dad's side, but, um, like my mom took me to that wedding with me, or me and my little sister and my dad, who also came with, um, and at the wedding, My dad pulled out a little surprise, which was that he had had a child before me and my sister. Uh, which was a little bit shocking to find out. A little bit like, ooh, (laughs) to find out. Um, but to be honest, it really wasn't that bad. It was quite Park Champ. She was about 14 at the time. 
She's seven years older than me right now. I'm 14 right now. She's 21. Uh, I'm turning 15 this year, so she's probably turning 22, according to math. Um, according to math and science. Um, but yeah, um, so we met her, me and my sister, met my other sister, uh, and that was super cool. And then, you know, we flew back to England, um, and my parents sit me and my sister down one morning, I think it was like, it was real early morning, real early morning, skies were grey and everything like that, it was early. Um, but my mom's just like, yo, basically we're getting a divorce. Like, and my dad was there as well, and I was just like, oh, that's, that sucks, and that was basically the end of that, uh, you know, a lot of people, uh, a lot of people are very like, oh, yeah, you know, divorce just, like, completely ruined my life, but it's like, I don't think that my parents' divorce did much to my life, other than, like, make it a little weirder than most kids' childhood, but, like, I never really... I never felt like I was missing out on anything or anything like that. Let me know if, like, you're maybe a kid of divorce or something like that, and you had, like, any major differences in your life. Uh, but I don't think there's any major differences, except for, like, you know, my mom loved me, my dad loved me, everyone loved me. There was a lot of family involved. Um, but yeah, then basically, um, my mother was just like, you know what, we don't have much here. We don't have much in in good old angel land, uh, which, if you didn't know, if you speak Afrikaans, Engelant, Engelant, which is basically the way that you say England in Afrikaans, Engelant. That can be, if you were going off of dry, direct translation, that would be angel land, you know. So I never call it that, but I decided to, for this podcast, to sound as if I was, you know, some type of smart brain, uh, even though I know I'm not. Um, but yeah, um, so I used to live in Angelland. It was great. Uh, and then we moved here to South Africa. Uh, we moved in with my grandparents, um, which was genuinely really nice and everything like that. It was great for a few years and everything. Um... But I remember a few years ago when I was about 10 or something like that. I was just like, you know what? I'm going to be a YouTuber. <laughs> and stay with me now. Because this is the bit where it gets a little wild. It gets a little wacky. It gets a little funny. It gets a little, gets a little crazy. Uh, uh, and it's that... Um, I decided that I was going to make Minecraft videos. Which... At the time, was booming, you know, 2016, 2015, that era, probably amazing, probably great content, you know. Um, so what I would do is, this isn't the phone that I had because this is an iPhone 6, so yeah. Basically, what I would do is I would prop my phone up on, like, my laptop keyboard, which I, like, I, I had a laptop that I would record my Minecraft videos on, but I would basically just, like, prop my, like, my phone up on my, like, laptop's keyboard, and then just record videos like that, and not even have, like, the actual in-game audio or anything like that, just genuinely just kind of, like, whatever my speakers were picking up of, like, my voice and what on the game was basically what would be in the video, and I didn't edit it or anything like that. No, 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 no. But, like, I'm pretty sure somewhere out there you can see... Tutorial. How to build a mechanical door in Minecraft. And I was, I'm not going to lie, I was quite a nerd. I was quite a nerd with redstone and that type of thing. So I kind of knew how it worked. Now I don't know anything. It's been ages since I, um, since I, like, looked into the whole redstone thing. Nowadays I'm just, like, I'm real invested in, uh, in trying to learn how to build, like, nice looking stuff. Uh, because me and Kat have been playing on the server a lot, um, we do it offline off of, of my stream, uh, which I honestly think that we should, like, not do as much anymore. We should definitely do more on, on stream stuff, uh, because it's just important for people to see, like, just, like, 
that I'm... I don't know, man. I, t I think it's just important for people to see that I've that I've been playing on the server and that I am still playing on the server and everything like that. People obviously know. Like, the next time I stream, which probably be soon, so tune into that. Um, Twitch.tv forward slash JVision or forward slash J underscore vision underscore 69. Top link in the description. Um, no, top link is my channel uh, because you're watching this on the low price experience uh channel or you could be watching this on jvision i have no idea i've uploaded it to both because i was because future me was probably just like i should i should upload this to my main channel so that people know that i have a podcast you know so that's you know that's what i was thinking and to be honest not a bad idea that sounds like it's gonna work but you know whichever channel you're watching this on Please drop a sub on both of them. I really appreciate it. The the top links of both uh both of the descriptions, um, so you can definitely find either of them. Uh, but yeah, so we moved to South Africa, and I was making my wonderful little Minecraft videos with my phone, and then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take this school thing seriously, and I didn't make YouTube videos for a full two years. I know crazy right that sounds so sad doesn't it it was <laughs> it really wasn't it really wasn't that big of a deal uh because then i started this channel called Jaden price which as a lot of you may know my name i said that at the beginning of the intro or in the intro of this podcast uh but that's my name Jaden price uh i opened a channel called Jaden price where i started posting afrikaans YouTube videos. Yes, I know. You're probably thinking... No. <laughs> but I did. Um, I used to post, like, Afrikaans videos and that type of thing there. Uh, and just, like, regular videos, I think, as well. English videos, I think, as well. Um, if you've ever seen the video of me, like, eating plants from my garden, then you might... Um, like, that one that I, like, uploaded on my channel, like, a few, uh, like, last year or something like that? Maybe, maybe the year before that? Is that, like, 2019? That's gonna bother me for the rest of the podcast, but oh well, probably is, um, 2020 or 2019, I don't know. Damn, I've had this channel for a long time. That's weird that I've had this channel for, like, almost two years, or, like, for two years now. Um... JVision, of course, I'm talking uh, about. Um, but, like, still, that's just crazy to me. Um, yeah, but it's absolutely, you know. Um, so, in any case, like, I made YouTube videos there. Um, one of them is about the pot of heartbreak, um, which kind of had some uh, editing in it. Like, there was one cut that I thought was very clever of editor JVision to do. Editor JVision from 2017 or Editor JVision from like. I don't want to say 2018 because I'm doubtful that I was making videos in 2018. Probably on like different channels and stuff. I think I had the Jaden Price channel for like a while, so I was like making videos on that for like ages. Um, but nonetheless, um, so yeah, I made a uh, like pot of heartbreak video where I legitimately just throw the name of a girl into a legitimate pot filled with boiling hot water and started stabbing it <laughs> and it was like it was just a way for me to kind of let out anger as if that would help um, as if that would help let out anger, but you know, I don't know, you tell me if that would be effective or not. I'm doubtful it would be, but like maybe some of you would be thinking, yeah, it sounds effective. Don't think it is, but if you think it is, cool. Um, man, I don't know if I should talk about like relationship stuff, because I don't know if I've ever really had like proper relationship stuff that I can like because as you may know, I'm 20. I'm no, I'm not 20. What? Jaden, your brain it needs to function at 10% at least, not three. Okay. So basically, um, 
Yeah, no, I could talk about, like, my relationship stuff, because I've had a, a kind of interesting ride so far. South African girls, they hit different, you know? They hit different. These women, they're different, okay? Um, whereas a British girl might just be like, hello, my, my, my lover boy, my little, my little, uh... I almost said Onichan, and then I remembered that that's stepbrother <laughs> in Japanese, so not your Onichan. Uh, but like, I don't know. I think thing. What? Jaden. Not three percent. Not three percent. Hadoi. You need. <laughs> um, but yeah, these South African girls—they hit different, you know. Um. The first one legitimately heard that I was cheating on her in a rumor. Uh, this was a false rumor. I was 10. I didn't know what cheating was. Um, but, like, then she just, like, legitimately... Okay, I can remember this clear as day. It was, like, 8 o'clock at night or something like that. I was just, like, in my bedroom, uh, just vibing, you know. And then I get this text from her. Ah, sorry. Oh. But I get this text from her, and it's just like, Sorry, Jaden. I heard that you cheated on me with this one girl. Bye. And then that was it. That was it. And then she just, like, blocked me. Um, which was which was my first experience of heartbreak. Not really. Not really, though. Probably better off without her in any case, if that's the way that she handles things. Like, she didn't even discuss it with me or anything like that. But she was 10, so whatever. I was 10, she was 10, I was a child, she was a child. Children should not date. I'm still a child. But, I'm a slightly bigger child. <laughs> Man. What even is this thing? I don't know. I don't know. Um, but, um, yeah, then I remember the second girlfriend that I had. Uh, when she was like, this girl was like, like, she was real short, um, and everything like that. Real cute and everything. Um, but she was, like, massively abusive, <laughs> um, in a lot of different ways. Where a lot of people would be like, oh, what do you mean abusive? She was like, what? What age was she? She was 11. We were 11 year olds, right? It's like, ah, 11-year-olds can't be abusive. Yes, they can. 11-year-olds <laughs> can not only beat up you with a big stick, but can beat up your sister with a big stick as well. And that's what happened. <laughs> and that's why I needed to break up with her. Because a lot of people may not know this, but it's slightly mean to beat up your sister, to beat, <laughs> to beat up your significant other with a stick. It's, you know, it's just, it's just a, a, a tad bit, you know, just a tad bit, uh, inappropriate, shall we say. Um, but yeah, time moves on. It's 2018. I meet this other girl. Um, I get a, I get a wonderful little message in class. Get a little paper that shows up. Uh. Katy Perry lyrics or Taylor Swift lyrics, I can't remember, but it was something like, I see you and I love you and some type of bullshit like that, I don't know, I can't remember, it's, I can't remember, it was 2018, I was 12, that's almost three years ago, um, but I remember getting that message and I was like, ooh, ooh, I wonder if there's a female around here that likes me, you know, um, so I started asking around, and this one girl, uh, she tells me, oh yeah, she, she sent me that message, because she thinks I'm a hottie, I'm somewhat of a sexy man. Keep in mind, she was 12, I was 12, so that was somewhat appropriate, kinda? Well, what the f Ah, to technicalities, technicalities, whatever. I'm no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, what? I just, I don't even get that, but okay. Um, but yeah, we had like a good solid month. Uh, and the whole time, 
all I was thinking was, I don't like this girl at all, <laughs> and I'm just dating her? Like, that's the thing that my brain was going through, it was just like, why am I, why am I dating this girl if I don't like her? Which, you, honestly, good question, because it's like, why? Why? Why would you, why would you do that? Why would you waste a month of your life? Why would you waste a month of their life? Uh, if just in general you don't know what you're doing. Um, but long story short, it worked out for the best. I kind of made, the way I broke up with her was like savage. I remember, uh, just genuinely going up to her and being like, I don't like you. Just, that's it! Just be like, I don't like you, girl. And then she was just like, that's okay. And she just, like, went off for the rest of her day. But, like, I remember her one friend was just like, You're a fucking asshole, Jaden. She loves you. And it's just like, Ah! 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 You know, um, and guess who I had a crush on the next day? <laughs> Playa, we got this. Senor, senor Playas, shall we say. Um, but yeah, that's basically how it went. Um, and then for a while I had this thing called Scholar Patrol, which is basically like, you stand on the side of the road and you have to like, hold this sign out that like tells people to stop in their cars so you control you control people adults uh i remember doing that and that was a lot of fun uh I, there was a lot of people on the scholar patrol a lot of different people i remember uh it was really fun it was a really fun experience you know <sighs> sorry uh but it was a really fun experience i think uh because like i got to I got to see a lot of different people, and I got to meet a lot of different people from a lot of different uh, walks of life. Uh, and by that I mean a lot of different 12 year olds. <laughs> I suppose they're a specific type of people, so that's fine. Uh, but yeah. Uh, and I remember... <laughs> what do I remember of being 13? Oh, that's right. I remember, uh, another female. Believe me, this man's been around. This man's been around. He's had child relationships. He's had a couple of them. <laughs> at this rate, it's one, two, three, four. We're at our fourth one. Now, keep, keep, keep track of this. Um, we're on the fourth one. Uh, and this girl is like... I don't know. She's cool and everything. I found her attractive. She's still in my school. So. Now? She's okay, I guess. I mean, she's nothing like... I'm never like... Because, like, the thing is, back then, when you're, like, 12, you don't have acne or... Uh... Or, like, your hair doesn't grow in intensely or anything like that. You just look like a pretty innocent little girl. Uh, and then all of a sudden, you turn 14 years old. Uh, or you turn 15 years old. Uh, and you sprout a unibrow. And that may have been what happened. I'm sorry! Unibrows just aren't attractive to me. I don't know what it is, but unibrows are just... I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of that. I just, like, really. I'm not a fan of that. Sure, I get you can't shave that. You gotta buy some wax or something for that. I know that's gonna hurt, but, like, looking at it is way worse than feeling that pain. Believe me. I <laughs> I have experience of it. Please. Just... Yeah, but, um... I remember uh, this girl and everything like that. We weren't dating, but, like... For some reason, I thought we were because she was kind of, she was kind of stringing me, you know, uh, which happens a lot, I guess, uh, to a lot of different people. Uh, but I was getting nice and strung, uh, which happened like 
I think at a different point that year again with a different girl, but that girl wasn't part of my life at all, so... Or she didn't have a significant impact on my life. Uh, so, probably that's why I may have just, like, left her out of the story. Now nah, it is. That's why I've left her out of the story. She just didn't have a big impact in my life. So I just didn't think about it. Um, but, I remember, uh, this specific girl that I was talking about before, uh, with the unibrow, um, she was really nice to me and everything like that, but, like, she was seriously stringing me along. And then one day, uh, I found out that she was dating some other dude just out of nowhere, and she didn't tell me about it or anything like that. And I was just like, owie, <laughs> pain, owie, uh, but in reality, it's not really that bad. It's just a little... It's just a little bit like... I thought we were dating, but we weren't. And now that's that. But, you know, it was a little bit like... You know, it was a little ouchy to me. Uh, and I don't really like ouchies that much. I'm not really a fan of ouchies that much. Uh, I don't like pain. It's not... I'm not a fan of pain stuff. I'm a... I'm a real soft boy, so I don't really like the whole ouchies, uh, or feeling ouchy. I don't like that. Um, but yeah, whatever. It is what it is. Um, uh, we getting all of the gross stuff out of Jaden today. We getting all of his yawns, all of his, all of his little, all of his little phlegm. Come ups. Oh yeah, we love it. We love that. We love when that happens. We love when that happens. Uh, but yeah, like I found out that she was dating this other guy, and I was just like, "Ow," um, which caused me to go very depresso mode. Um, and I felt like a old notebook of mine that I had back then, where it would be like, "Girl left me for that guy." I'm so worthless, but it's like, dude, dude, you're like, you're like freaking 13 years old or something like that. Hold on. You're like 13 years old or something like that. You have so much life to live. You don't need to be like, mm, oh, looks like one girl didn't like me. Time to feel sad forever because then everyone would just... <laughs> Then, like, you wouldn't be able to live. You would just be, like, horribly depressed all the time. Which is just awful. You shouldn't... You gotta let go, baby doll. You gotta just release. Uh, and then you should be fine. You should live a happy life. Um, but yeah, uh, I remember that. Uh, that caused me to go very depresso mode. Uh, and then it was December 2019. That hit, which was... I have a lot of memories of December 2019. And they were not fun. They were very not fun. Uh, so if any of you don't know, uh, I have a video on my channel, Javjin, my main channel, uh, called Loneliness, Numbness, Depression, uh, where I talk about my experience with depression uh, and how it affected my life. Uh, and I eventually go on to talk about my attempt of suicide. Uh... I don't like talking about it that much nowadays because it's like I have such a disconnect to that old part of my life that I just I don't like you know thinking about that anymore. But uh, I bring it up every now and then because it's an important video in my uh, on my channel because I've had people tell me like that that video was the thing that saved them or that that video was the thing where it was like whoa. There's other people that are, like, way younger than me or, like, the same age as me that are suffering from or that are struggling with the same issues as I am, which I don't think a lot of people realize. Yeah, a lot of teens are depressed. A lot of us are feeling real depressed. A lot of us are feeling real anxious. I don't feel that anymore, really, um, about anything. Um... But I used to feel very depressed on mode, and I used to feel very, like, eh, eh, 
I'm so stressed out, but it's like nowadays I just feel I don't know man. It's no more stresso mode, no more depresso mode, it's just vibes, you know? Good vibes, bad vibes, vibes, bro. It's all vibes. You gotta deal with it, bro. Don't like the vibes, let go of the vibes. Don't like the vibes, hold on to them vibes. You'd like the vibe, vibe with the vibe, you know? That type of thing. Uh, what? <laughs> I've, I've, it's weird how much I find myself asking, like, what after something I say, because it's like, sometimes I just, my brain just doesn't make sense. It just doesn't, it doesn't, like, like I register what I've said, and then it's like, why? <laughs> Why did you say that? <laughs> Why did you say that? Um, I, su I suppose a lot of people feel that way. Um, but yeah. Um, so I had a little thing in December. I'm not going to say a little because it was a big part of my life. It was an attempt of uh, suicide, shall I say. Um, and while a lot of the details I've kind of changed so that um, people feel better about it. Uh, I'm not going to go into some of those details because a lot of them are very personal to me um, as to why I changed some of those details. Um, you know? Uh, hopefully you can respect my wishes. Uh, and if you've seen the video, then hopefully you thought it was a good video. Um, but yeah, yeah I thought... Um, I thought it was necessary, or like my mom told me that it would be necessary for me to share that message uh, with everyone, uh, just so that they know, hey, people that are the same age as you are struggling, as as you are struggling with the same issues as you, uh, which is just a thing that in general is true. A lot of people are just struggling with the same thing as a lot of different people are. Uh, and it sucks. It sucks a lot uh, that we're all struggling with these issues and we don't deal with it. But a lot of time, that's just the way. Ah! Yeah. But a lot of time, that's just the way that uh, growing up goes. A lot of people just don't ask questions about like things, and a lot of people just don't just don't try and communicate their feelings about it, which they really should. It's important. Uh, but yeah. And then I remember last year. Where. There was January. February. Uh, you know, high school was going good. And, uh... 2020 went from the first year of a new decade filled with greatness to something very different, very fast. It took a... It took, like, a week for it to turn from... You know, we're just gonna vibe. We're gonna vibe out. This is the best, best decade of my life. <laughs> to, oh my god, <laughs> oh shit! It just, it changed very quickly. Um, and it was crazy, honestly. Um, but I'm glad a lot of us made it through. We didn't make it through because it's not done yet. Uh, I'm talking, of course, about COVID. Uh. I'm not going to talk about it as if you guys don't know what it is. It's COVID. Um, everyone knows what COVID-19 is. Uh, the horrible, horrible vi virus that killed... That's killed like 3 million people that's, at this point or something like that. Which is just crazy to me. Uh, so, I suppose, you know, wear your masks. That's important. Um, but I remember a lot of the time I felt... Uh, very lonely during COVID, and that's the thing. I didn't do most of my schoolwork for, like, three months. <laughs> I spent three months at home, and I just didn't do anything. 
I, the weird thing is I can't remember like three months of last year. Just can't remember. I remember kind of making YouTube videos every now and then. But I don't remember... Like, I don't remember doing anything other than just being at home all the time. Which is good. Oh. Yeah, I, I forgot my my webcam has has the weird, like, focus. That, like, the autofocus on this is crazy. Hold on. I'm trying to get it to activate. Hold on, wait. Look at the HD-ness of that hand. Wow. Hey, okay, that doesn't look that bad. Uh, but okay. Yeah, neither. So we all know what COVID was. We all know when that hit. Or what it is. Uh, we all know when that hit. We all know... The amount of he's that we were doing. The amount of hoes that we were doing, you know. It was interesting. When it happened. When it went down. Uh, and I don't think I've ever used Discord more in my life than <laughs> than during COVID-19. I think that that was the most active I've ever been on Discord in my life. Um, and yeah. Um, and now we have this new year where I'm doing a bunch of new stuff. I started streaming on Twitch, for instance. It's been going great so far. I haven't streamed in a while. I need to stream more. Uh, I'm gonna stream soon, uh, I think. Uh, I'm releasing a new album. I know the last year's album kinda, I didn't do a final release of it or anything like that. Or at least three songs that I was like, you know what? Let's call it a day, baby. We got it. That's a wrap. But like, you know, this year, I don't wanna do that. Uh, I've, I'm thinking because it's February already. It's gonna be March, probably, when I release this. What? What's the date gonna be on Monday? That, cause that's when this is coming out for you guys. Um. Yeah, it's gonna be like the first of March. Okay, so expect a new song coming in March. Uh, I'm gonna release a song for every month of the year, and then hopefully I have. 11 songs at the end of the year because I didn't make one for January uh, So I'm gonna have like 11 songs by December uh, Ready to go just like out in the open and then that's gonna be the end of my Album and hopefully by then I can get some of them on Spotify uh, Some of them on like Apple music or that type of thing. I probably will be able to I just need to do a lot of research on it um, But yeah, basically um I'm going to call it a day for the podcast uh, today. Uh, that's pretty much all I really wanted to talk about. I talked about me for like a good 40 minutes or so. And I talked about my channel a bit, you know. I feel like overall this was a pretty successful podcast. Uh, it's been going well, honestly, uh, for this. As like the first episode of the Low Price Experience. Uh, I hope everyone enjoyed it. Uh, now, yeah, out to, out to voiceover Jaden. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of the Low Price Experience. I hope you enjoyed it for the low price of completely free. Um, but by the way, something that something that I would really appreciate you uh, giving a little bit of your attention to is that wonderful little subscribe button and that wonderful little like button. Uh, this podcast may be free, but you know what else is free? Subscribing and leaving a like. So I'd really appreciate if you did both of those things. Thanks so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, have a good day. Uh, and yeah, see you in the next one.